What's up all you class YouTubers, this is FC Steezy and I'm going to be showing you how to record demos in Counter-Strike Global Offense and how to play them back. So this is helpful if you're trying to record a game, maybe to show your friend or maybe to put on YouTube. So before we get started, you're going to want to navigate to your Steam folder. Um, first, I have a separate hard drive, but typically it would be under your C drive, under Program Files x 86 if you have a 64-bit, or pro regular Program Files in a folder called Steam. Now this is my Steam folder, and then once you're in your Steam folder, you're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offense, CSGO, and from here we're going to want to create a new folder. We're going to create a new folder just because typically, um, or on default, Counter-Strike saves your demos to this folder, and it's already packed full of tons of maps, or tons of, <laughs> tons of files, not maps. Maps are saved under maps. Um, so we're going to create a new folder just to give a level of organization. You, you can see I already created, created one called saved underscore demos. This is where you're going to be saving your demos to. So let's go ahead and name it saved underscore demos underscore YouTube just to be cute. Uh, because I'm making this for YouTube. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and jump in game and I'm going to show you how to utilize that folder. So once in game, before you start recording, you're going to want to go to help and options game settings, enable developer console and make sure it's on yes. By doing this you'll be able to pull up the console by hitting the tilde key. Tilde key is a little squiggly mark, the key to the left of the one key. Kind of like the top of the Enya if you know Spanish. So go ahead and go back and then we're gonna find a game. I'll just do an example arms race to get started. There's a few commands you can do in console. If you don't know what the console is, it's pretty helpful. It's just somewhere you can you can type commands, say to change your graphics, or just do general game commands, such as connecting to a server based on IP. So we're going to go ahead and continue and just get in game. Once in game, go ahead and pull up the console again. We're going to type record, and then the folder that you just created. So I created saved underscore demos underscore YouTube to be cute and then you're going to type forward slash the forward slash is the button above the enter key that signifies that it's a folder location so be sure to type that and then you're going to type your demo name so let's just say October so oct underscore demo underscore one that'll give us at least a uh, sense of organization and just so you know which folder just so you know which uh, demo you're going to and then once you're done with that, you'll start recording. You'll see it says recording to that dot dem. Dem is a file extension for demos. Makes sense. And then you're just gonna hop around, maybe record something fun, do a 360, whatever. And then once you're done recording, you're gonna type stop. Stop. Enter. It'll say how big your demo was. And once you're done, I just got killed. I should have recorded that. Once you're done, just go ahead and disconnect from your server or whatever you're doing. I type disconnect in the console. That's a good use of it if you want to. Um, and from here, you're going to want to play back your demo. You might want to fire up Fraps now if you want to record it or whatever recording device you use. Uh, there's two ways to play the demo. You can either do, you can either type play demo in the console and then the demo name. So I could do saved underscore demos underscore YouTube so many underscores <laughs> I should have named this something smaller um, forward slash October underscore demo underscore one and that'll play the demo if you, if you then type enter but we want to be fancy so you're gonna type shift F2 shift F2 brings, brings up the demo playback uh, graphic interface very helpful I, I recommend you do it all you have to do is type load and this will this will automatically pull up a um, uh, file chooser, whatever they're called, and you can then choose your folder which you saved it in and choose your demo. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and it will pull up your demo and create an instance. This is when you might want to record. What's great about this demo playback interface is that you can actually maybe slow mo it or <laughs> fast mode even. Um, you can also go into third person mode. I I'm not going to go too into that in this video. I'm actually not going to go into it at all. But if you're curious about that, you can check out the video in the description. It is 
a video by Sparkle Productions who did it really well, so it's already pretty well covered, so I'm not gonna mess with it. If you if you watch it, be a fanboy, type FC Steezy sent me or something cute like that. Um, hopefully you found this of some help. This is all you really need to do. If you're in the demo, you can type stop demo, that will kick you out of the demo, or you can just hit stop in the that, or you can wait for the demo to end. Again, if you're wondering where it saved them to, remember there's uh, it's all it's in the folder, so say you want to send the file to someone to edit it or just a friend, you could then copy it from there and send it. Hopefully you found this video of some help. If you did, please comment, rate, subscribe. This is FC Steezy. Peace out and stay classy. Sorry if my video, if my voice was a little raspy towards the end. I could use some water. I've been talking for a while. Peace out.